Hello everyone, for this video we're going to talk about how to create frequency distribution table or our FDT. Now what is our learning target for this video? I can construct frequency distribution table and cumulative frequency table. Now here's the guide questions that hopefully you can answer after watching this video. So let's start. Construct a frequency distribution table of the data presented below. So here, as you can see, um, let's say these are the scores of the following students in a particular exam. Okay, guys, so we have here the steps in how to create a frequency distribution table. First, we have arranged the data in ascending order. So here, what do we mean by ascending order? So you are going to arrange it from lowest score or lowest number up to the highest number. Okay, so here as you can see, we started with 70, 72, 74, up until 94. Next to that is compute for the range. So by the way, what is our formula for the range? So highest score minus lowest score and always add by 1. Okay, so 1 here is fixed. So now what is our highest score? So of course, since we were able to arrange the data already in ascending order, it would be easier for us to identify the highest score and with that, we do have this 94. And what is our lowest score? Our lowest score is 70. Now, we can start with our solution range is equal to our highest score is 94 minus our lowest score is 70 and then plus 1 always. Okay, so with that, we would have 94 minus 70, it's 24, and then plus 1. So, of course, we would have this is equivalent to 25. Therefore, our range is 25. Next is solve for the class size or class width or the class intervals by dividing the range with the preferred number of class intervals or classes. Okay, so by the way, take note, this preferred number of class intervals or classes is given by your teacher or your classmate. So you take note of that. So this time, let's say the preferred number of class for our FDT later on is 5 only. So with that, let us find out the, the class size or class width. Okay, so again, what are we going to do is simply divide the range. So we got 25 then divided by the preferred number of classes um, this is 5 so that means our class size will be equal to 5 so 25 divided by 5 it's 5 okay so for our next step we have construct the class intervals in the frequency distribution table so here how are we going to make the class interval? So first of all, you need to look at your lowest score or lowest data or lowest number given. So since we were able to arrange this one already, our lowest number is 70. So with that, this will be your starting point in making the class interval. So we have, so here we have 70. And then, a while ago, we were able to solve for class size or class width, which is 5, right? So, 70. You just count 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So, we do have 5 numbers there included in that class. So, that's the first class. So, 70 to 74. Next class would be 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. We do have 5 as well. So, as its class size. And uh, for our third class, same manner. So, you will start with 80 this time. So, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. And same manner with the fourth class and fifth class. But, of course, I'm going to share to you the shortcut for this so that you will not count manually. Okay. So, here, first we have 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. These are our, um, what we call, lower limit. 
And for 74, 79, 84, 89, 94, these are our upper limit, guys. So now, how are we going to do this easily without doing the manual counting a while ago? So, a while ago, we got for class size or class width, we have seven, uh, 5. So here, you just simply add 5 from here in our first lower limit, which is 70. So 70 plus 5, 75 plus 5, 80 plus 5, 85 plus 5, 90. And you're done. Next is for your upper limit. So you start with 74. 74 plus 5, 79 plus 5, 84 plus 5, 89 plus 5, 94. And you're done. But of course, you need to double check this always. And as you can see, um, based on the preferred number of classes a while ago, you should have five classes. And yes, we do have here five classes. And that's your right. Okay, next is fill out the frequency of this course according to the class interval. So how are we going to fill out or fill in this um, frequency column? So you just simply count how many scores lies within the given class interval so let's say let's start with 70 to 74 i highlighted it already here so that you can easily check this one so 70 72 74 we do have three and next for our second class we have 75 to 79 so we do have two 75 77 78 79 all in all we do have five uh, five scores or five datas Okay, next is for 80 to 84, you're going to count it, this one, all of this. So, we would have 12. And for 85 to 89, we do have 8 as well. So, just simply count this one. And lastly, for 90 to 94, we just have 2. Okay, and we're done. So, as easy as that. And lastly, prepare and fill in the cumulative frequency column. Okay, how? So actually guys, always we would start here at the bottom portion of our table so that you will not get confused. So you start always with the, the frequency of your um, lowest class interval here. So 70 to 74, your frequency is 3. So you should start with 3 as well for your cumulative frequency here. So 3. Okay, next is how are we going to find out the rest of the cumulative frequency? Okay, so here's the tip. Okay, so here, you just simply add, so we have 3, then add this one to the next frequency here in our second class interval. So 3 plus 5, we would have 8. Okay, and then just repeat the process. So 8, then add as well to the next frequency, which is 12. So 8 plus 12, you will have 20. And same process so we have 20 added with the, the next frequency which is 8 and that would be 28 and lastly so we have here 28 plus 2 we do have 30 okay so by the way here as you can see the highest cumulative frequency here that we've got is 30 so to check if it's correct you compare this one as well this should be equal to the total number of data or scores given so if you're going to count here all this one 94 90 89 89 up until 70 we do have 30 scores here or let's say the total number of samples or scores here is 30 and therefore it should correspond to the highest cumulative frequency that you've got so if it is not equal then there's something wrong you need to double check your um, less than cumulative frequency column or else your frequency as well so you double check always so that's it for this video i do hope you learn about creating frequency distribution table see you in our next video lesson